Hey, mm -hmm. welcome. I just, um, people have been requesting me to do more night night videos. So, um, ASMR style. And, um, oh, I have to yawn. <gasps> mm. That's a good thing for night night. I think I might be yawning some more. <laughs> So I just wanted to say good night and I hope you sleep tight and happy and rest well and deep, deeply, rest deeply and with a warmth in your heart. <gasps> oh, with love in your heart with um, sweet thoughts in your mind, with divine vibrations in your body, from all those sweet thoughts and that love in your heart, and that your spirit, your eternal self, is just exquisitely, it's always there, always, because that's what life is, life is the eternal spirit housed in this mortal form that's what uh, that's what animates us right so we are always connected to the divine always to the timeless to the immortal to the eternal and so we can use our breath <gasps> We can use our breath to connect to our divine self and amplify that experience in our body and you can listen to my little music videos on YouTube and my channel as well as go to sarahwestlove.com and uh, what used to be sarahwest.com so you might find some of my CDs under that name. But I'd definitely go to my website, Sarah, S-A-R-A-H, W-E-S-T, love, L-O-V-E, dot com. The link will be in the notes, the description below. <laughs> so definitely like and subscribe this video also so you can get updates when I post new ones as well. So, yeah, that was a little side note there, you know, so, yeah, so, <gasps> I think I'm giving myself a hint, too, to go night night, so take a deep breath with me if you like. <sighs> and another one. <sighs> Yawn if you like. Oof. So contagious, isn't it? It's wonderful. Oxygenating the body and the mind and the heart and the blood by yawning. And um, yes, and then just begin to let go. Just begin to let go of any stress, all stress, whatever you're ready to let go of, you know? You know, we hold on for a reason sometimes. We think we have a reason. So we don't let go until we're ready. So <gasps> until we choose, until we decide. So, you know, why fight it? <laughs> Just let go of what you feel ready to let go of. Don't worry about just allow what is, you know, for now anyway, for your night night. Just allow what is, allow whatever's happening. Even if there's no letting go, right? <laughs> there may be only terror right now. You may be vibrating with such anxiousness. It's unbearable, you know, trauma. 
drugs. I mean, it's like just fear, just delusion, denial, just stress of living, of confusion, of just all kinds of things. So, you know, if that's where you are, that's okay too. You don't worry necessarily about changing it. I don't think we change by making ourselves change. Life may push us to that. That's true. It will ultimately. But just allow. Just be. Just bring the breath. That's all I think we have to be. You know, for myself. I can speak for myself. When I allow my breath to be. And just begin to notice wherever it is. Not even try to change it. Just try to be. Just focus on my breath with what is, whether it's fast or slow or arrhythmic or just, you know, just begin with where you are. That's all we can do. That's all we can do is just be with where we are. Just be with where we are, where you are. And that will begin to unravel your breaths to be slightly longer, slightly deeper. You'll find yourself taking... Oh, excuse me. Mm, a yawn, taking a deep breath. Just by choosing to be present. Okay? Just by choosing to be present, you're beginning. Even if your mind starts ripping you away from this moment and my voice and your breath and your desire to be free, and just any worry about trying to control yourself, just come back just to just notice, just observe, just be in observance, just notice, start with that, start with just witnessing yourself, what appears as yourself, whatever yourself is, whatever this mysterious experience, perception of oneself as a human being, just witness it. There's always a witness. There's always, just begin to notice the witness. There's always this witness, the witness. That's never moved, never jarred, never rattled, never afraid, never obsessive, never stressed. The, the witness is always is. It's just isness. It's being. It's always present. It never leaves you, my friend. It never leaves. It's just waiting, just always present. Just waiting for this thing called our human consciousness to return to. To that witness self, to acknowledge the presence of the witness, and to really return to being that, because that's what we are indeed, actually, whatever that means. <laughs> I mean, it's all words. It's it's really beyond words, all of it. So, yeah, yeah. It's so moving, you know. Let yourself be be moved, you know. Let yourself be moved by yourself. By the tenderness of your of your own fragile being and beautiful strong being and all the vicissitudes 
that, that that involves everything in between and the pendulum that swings from all the all the dualities of of mortality it's it's allowing ourselves to enjoy everything and the ego wants to fight everything control everything and to um, maintain everything anything and the spirit is just is everything so and nothing and so it has no need to control anything or everything because it is it is it is pure beingness and so the mystery is how to to be how to be and yet still live in this world and survive as this creature as a in a body this timeless spirit life itself creator expressing in a dualistic perception in time and space you know where we have to feed ourselves and drink water and find all those things we have to nourish ourselves and you know and we have to navigate the world among all the so-called others the other manifestations of life and how to just all the infinite number of just second to second millisecond by millisecond moment by moment decisions that we choose to make while navigating life but um definitely the further we are away from stillness the more difficult life is and so it really the challenges call us back call us back to the source and communion with the source and so that's the beauty of this just immaculate feedback system biofeedback system that just just tells us you know whether we're connected you know if we think we're if we're doing things from our ego then it's it's it doesn't have the highest wisdom so the you know everything in life will will help return us back to the connection of ourselves with the source of life, the source of love. And so that's the dance. That's the mortal dance. And it really doesn't end until the end, you know, or the beginning. The transition of, into another form, expression, return, home your spirit and uh, you know certainly we have a choice of you know free will to ascend while we're living you know as people have and and live egoless or relatively egoless um, in a body with a human personality but be very connected to the source of life and the source of light and um, that's all of our journeys that's all of our you know I think whether we think it is consciously or not you know and of course everybody has a different a different language a different lingo for all these things that I'm talking about and then some people have no lingo <laughs> so not they have a lingo but not for these you know not for what i'm talking about but we have a, you know people have different belief systems different dogmas that they embrace and uh, choose uh, that other people have um, fed them 
you know, that they can see in me. And then some of us go inside and find and listen to it. You know, and, and of course some people go inside and, and will hear something completely different. So, you know, that's the wild thing about the myriad unending expressions of, of the divine of the divine expressions human beings there's how many 7.7 .7 billion currently on the planet exponentializing increasingly every millisecond <laughs> um yeah so every creature has a different perspective every person every animal every bacteria every atom has a a divine blueprint and a, a divine purpose and a perspective a divine perspective and a very all the way down to a very dense um dualistic perspective depending on you know how we're choosing to express our consciousness and pushing up against the others in the world you know pushing up against water are we are we respecting the water in our lives or are we disrespecting it throwing trash and garbage and poisons in it are we respecting the earth or are we you know gouging her for for what she has in her bosom and uh and raping her for you know, to what end? You know, this is, this is a very fundamental question. How do we treat ourselves is how we treat others. So it all comes back to our relationship with ourselves. You know, and you know, many of us are challenged by these things every day. You know, because we weren't taught to really care about ourselves. I, I don't know about you, <laughs> you know, but society, religions, no religions, schools, governments, you know, we're not really taught. Some people maybe, you know, there's some, some certainly, you know, are fortunate, very fortunate, and, and uh, their parents or their school or the society, the community, they have love and caring and kindness, but not everybody has that, and a lot of people have quite the opposite. A lot of people have a lot of trauma that they're raised with, you know, from one direction or another. So, you know, these are our challenges. You know, what, what are what is it my mom used to say? Um, what we've been given. Oh, I can't quite bring it through. That was the train. I brought that to the other side. <sighs> um, I can't re quite remember how she put it, but um. Anyway, so you know, what going into a different mode of, of talking and so I want to go back to just um, there are many thoughts in there and um, you know just come back to your breath if you if you left it <laughs> if you want and um, I keep feeling like little bugs in the air, so I keep, um, yeah, so I think they're flying around a little bit, um, and gnats and things. So, it's nice to bring the outside in, the nature, open the windows, and let the air in. Your window's not open, you can open it. Mm, breathe in that gorgeous sunshine or moonlight. Beautiful, cool air, warm air. 
feeling the breeze or the stillness. The night creatures, the crickets, the cicadas, your friends, the froggies. <laughs> are they still riveting or are they hibernating already? They go into hibernation and it starts to get cool. All winter long they hibernate. Well, some do. Depends on where you are. So just take that deep breath. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy your heart. Your mind. Your soul. Your spirit. Your love. Enjoy your love. Enjoy love itself. <laughs> love. This can't be owned. It's never owned. Love is free. Always free. <laughs> That's one thing that is free. And feeling, experiencing love makes us feel free. Yeah. Real love liberates, liberates and unshackles us from our minds, mind and from any bondage, even from our own bondage or another's, or of pain, things we don't even know the source of. You don't have to know the source. Sometimes it helps, but it can help, but ultimately The mind. The mind doesn't heal. It's, I mean, it's a part. It's a part, you know, of the system called hum our humanity. But if we're stuck in the mind, we're we're stuck. <laughs> so, but come back to your breath. That will always lead you home. Your breath will always lead you into your heart, into your spirit. And as they say, um, you know, that the mind, the, the long, furthest distance is between the mind and the heart. Well, the breath helps connect the two and connects you with your body and your spirit, your soul. So all those things get linked up. So like a little chain reaction, a really good one. So, yeah. So, so just vibrate and relax. And the beauty of your home, of your mortal home, is your body. The beauty of your body. And let your breath bring your spirit in and vibrate that eternal presence through every cell, between every cell, within every cell, mm. every hair, just luminous, every organ. Luminous. Your nostrils. Luminous. Mm. Mm. Your mind's eye. Luminous. Your breath. Luminous. Every sound you hear. Luminous. Your breath you breathe, inhale, luminous. Exhale, luminous. Exhale, luminous. Inhale, luminous. <gasps> mm, 
Okay. So just enjoy that. And sleep well, my friends. Sleep with beauty in your heart. Beauty in your mind. Beauty in your body. Beauty in your spirit. Beauty in your soul. Beauty. Yes, beauty. You are beauty. Yes, you are beauty. You are beauty. I am beauty. You can say that if you like. Beautiful affirmation. Let that just like a warm glow just coming over your body, over your thoughts, over your heart, over your breath, over your face, sounds you hear, sights you see, inside your mind's eye. And when you open them, you close them. Inside your soul, inside your spirit. I am beauty. I am beauty. I am beauty. Beauty I am, beauty I be, beauty I become, I become beauty, I become beauty, I become beauty. Beautiful. Just allow yourself to steep in the presence of your own beautiful soul and spirit and heart, mind and body, integrated and at and one. 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 One with your divine self. One with love. One with life. One with luminosity. So have a deep and beautiful sleep. Peaceful and rich. And if anything comes up other than love, just be with it. It's not always about being beauty. Beauty has many forms, and part of that is navigating the challenges and things that seem negative. Those are all there just to purify our consciousness so that we can let them go. So next time, maybe, we'll talk about those things. And if you ever need any support, some facilitation, you can click the link in the description below and I offer wonderful private sessions via Skype and etc. all over the world and I'm happy and it's my joy and privilege to support you in your journey, in your joy. Yes, in your joy. Part of that joy is facing challenges, grief, the loss, the wonder, the excitement. So, 
rest well with just the allowance of, of your being, the allowance of all that you are, all that you truly are, and the allowance of this mystery of discovering how to have the experience of living your true self. Just rest that you're here now. You're in your true self now. True being. True love. True love is you. <laughs> true love is inside you. It's not really about anyone else. It's about connecting inside. And then once we do that, Connecting with others is just captures us. Mm. All right. Good night. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. All my love to you. Join me. Wake well, wake well. And if it isn't perfectly well, it's okay. Just wake being. Just connect with your breath, with what is. Navigate that. Be with what is. And it will unravel and unfold through the liberation.